what is up you guys and welcome back to another video and I don't know if it's the same on the other side of the pond but I feel like in the UK Adidas was super popular in 2023 and this might be their most popular shoe of the year so I'm gonna unbox them Now, obviously, I'm talking about the Adidas and Wales Bonner collaboration. They've done loads of shoes together. This time around, they released four different colorways. Now, I did buy six pairs. Um, they're not all for me. So I've got the full set for myself, and I bought two pairs for friends, basically. First up, they come in a Adidas Wales Bonner box, and this is the first pair. Do -do -do. So this is the pony with the burgundy Adidas stripes, pony hair on the main body, leather, and then the burgundy stripes. And then obviously it's got the signature for the Wales Bonner. I don't know what you call it. It's got this like guard basically. So number one for pair number two, we've got the nylon ones. So these are the standard burgundy ones with the white or like creamy stripes. And I'd say this is probably the least sort of popular shoe out of all four. And it's probably the one that I'm least excited about. I don't love this one basically. Next up, we've got the most popular pair of the whole thing. These are the ones that people I think are gonna resell the most or the most sort of special. Obviously the leopard ones. So these ones, I don't know if I'm loving them they are very very out there which some people are gonna like and some people are gonna like it less but they've got leopard all over and then they've got the white contrast stripes and the white sort of front front guard definitely a more out there shoe this is probably the one that I would either love or hate I don't really know what I'm gonna feel until I put them on feet the last pair we've got the black Tonal pair. This is probably the pair that I am going to like the most in the sense that that's the one I'll be wearing probably and keeping. It is the all black with the contrast white guard. It's just a good everyday shoe, I'd say. So these are all the four pairs. Now, if I had to rank them, I'd probably go number one on the black pair. Pretty classic with a good brown gum sole. Second up, I'll probably go for the burgundy and sort of cream pony hair. I think it's a good color combo, but they're not too up there. Now, I think the pony hairs are gonna be the most popular ones and the ones that sort of stand out the most, but I think as a sort of daily shoe or even wearing it with fits, I don't see myself loving this shoe. Last place, for me this feels like a pretty standard Adidas, but I just don't really see this getting much wear and I wouldn't put it in my top sneakers, basically. I think in total I paid around 170 for each pair. 170, 340, 680 pounds on four pairs of shoes. Are they the best sneakers of 2023? I'd say these two are very, very good. These two are interesting, but not the best. A little thumbnail. Now, after trying on the Wales Bonners, I think this is definitely my favorite pair. And then second is probably the black pair. So these are probably the two pairs I'm gonna keep. And then the rest I'll sell or just return. But I think it's the kind of shoe that you have to wear with either super baggy trousers or shorts. In the sense that I don't like the way that when you wear them, obviously your trousers kind of sit here, which makes this flap feel super big. And then it just flaps a lot. So I think for me, I'll just have to wear my trousers that cover most of the shoe. Or with shorts. I do love the pony hair though. That contrast is beautiful on these two pairs. Um, whereas the leopard ones are just all pony hair, they call it. Feels a little bit too saturated for my liking. And then these are pretty standard, just burgundy Wales bonners. What do you guys think? Do you like him? Do you not like him? Do you think they're overhyped? I think they might be a little bit overhyped. I don't think they have to make four pairs, but I know they sold really well and I know people are still buying them. So Definitely sort of a successful 
release for Adidas. Mm, look at this. Pretty much fully done. This is kind of how the space looked when I first moved in or viewed it. We were here for about one year, I'd say. Pretty much exactly one year. And this was actually the, the office that motivated me a little bit to start making YouTube videos again. I made maybe three or four videos in this office. Now I do think that initially I loved the floor and I loved the ceiling. After actually working here and being here and trying to shoot here, it was just super hard to actually shoot on the floor or the darkness that the ceiling brought in. And now we're going somewhere with much taller ceilings, a very different light, but still that sort of warehouse feel and the concrete style floors. I'm gonna pack up the rest of the stuff, move out, and then this chapter is done basically. Give my keys back and that's it. We are now officially 10 weeks into me making these silly, silly little weekly vlogs. And honestly, I'm enjoying it so much. I'm gonna talk about it all a little bit more later in the video, but right now I'm on the way to the office because we're having a new couch delivered. It's not really a couch, but it's like a small seat, but it's beautiful. Ready for the big reveal. Look at this beauty. Oh la la. Oh, oh well. King in the castle. King Very in nice. the castle. This is basically a Line Rose Kashima, which is a chair that they stopped making in like 1988, I think. Maybe a little bit later. And then now they're actually re releasing it here in 2023. So you can buy them new but this one is vintage. So I don't know how old this one is. I presume it has been reupholstered because it's in perfect condition. So comfy. Now, the reason why we got this one as well is because the other Lina Rosé, the Togos, are meant for my apartment. And this is sort of meant as our running shoot chair. This one feels a little bit more on brand. Sit here, do some work on it. It's the plan. I did pay 1,100 pounds for this, so. Expensive, it won't ever get as popular as the Togo, I'd say, but it's definitely gonna hold its value and become a cool chair, in my opinion. Now, it is hard to tell the exact color of it, but it's just like an olive green. It looks, yeah, it's super hard to tell, but a little bit more firm than the Togo. But what a beauty, what a beautiful, beautiful chair. Beanie sample unboxing. I've launched a few samples for potential new designs and I've got one thing in here, which is hopefully cool. I've got a very good idea for it, but we'll get to it. Now, obviously at Sundays, we've got checkerboard beanies and a lot of people say, this is the best beanie I've ever had, or this is the, my favorite beanie, or I wear this every day. However, it's pretty hard to wear a checkerboard beanie every single day. So. I've decided to make plain beanies. Plain beanies are not groundbreaking, they're not anything new, but I feel like if people love the fit of the checkerboard one, they'd also love the fit and material of a plain one. So that's the idea at least. It's still got that texture of the other one, but just without the check, obviously. Beanie number one. Beanie number two. Beanie number three. But the thing I'm excited about to show you guys is this. For a little while, I've had this idea of a very long beanie at a Sunday market or like a crowded place. So I had my beanie guy make a 70 centimeter long beanie. Imagine seeing someone walking down the market with a beanie this tall filled with stuff. Look how swag this is. I might have to put like a metal rod inside of it and let it stand like this, walking through the market. Iconic. 
So if you're not following the Sunday's Instagram, now is the time. Otherwise you'll miss this beautiful magic that's gonna happen. As I said earlier in this video, we are now 10 weeks into me making these videos. I think one of the reasons why I enjoy making them so much is because the feedback loop is basically one week, which means that every week I film, edit, plan, do something that's at least a little bit fun or interesting to show in the vlog. And I feel like I'm progressing every week, my weeks are longer, and I've got something that I work for every single week. Sometimes when you work with fashion or clothing, it can take like three months from the first idea of the clothing item to getting the samples in to pre-production samples and then finally releasing them after maybe two three four five months sometimes it feels like the time goes super slow or super fast where with the vlogging i've always got something to do and i always have monday to look forward to for the next video to be ready to be edited etc i hope you guys are enjoying them as much as i am if you are let me know down in the comments. As always, I'll see you guys next Monday. Peace.